What's good? It's your boy Tad Money, and today I'm gonna tell you about the metaverse. It's my home. Like, you know, when it really come down to it, though, I've been learning about the metaverse. You know, I've been buying Kindle form uh, eBooks from Amazon. That's about the metaverse. And I just want to say though, is is that <clears throat> you know, when it come down to the metaverse, y'all, like, you gotta understand the coming uh, age of Aquarius or Come in the world order, whatever you want to call it, though. Like, it's going to come to a point where capitalism is going to exist in the metaverse and socialism is going to exist in the physical world. Like, that's how it's going to be. That's, that's what we're coming to in the coming decade and a couple other decades as well. That you feel me? You will have two class of people. Like, the wealthy people is going to enjoy the land, enjoy the wealth, enjoy everything they have in the physical, physical world. And people that's part of the poor, poor class will enjoy their wealth and everything they have within the metaverse. You feel what I'm saying? Become, you might be poor in the physical, but you might be a millionaire or even a billionaire in the metaverse. And what I'm trying to say, though, is, is that it's coming to that point where that reality is going to become that way. Like, we're going to have quantum computers, supercomputers with special chips that keep them cold from zero degrees, I think. So damn cold, you know what I'm saying? But these super quantum computers, they can create, they can help create the ultimate metaverse to the point where, you know, I'm going to call it the virtual plane. The virtual plane means one of many, many metaverses. Like, even though meta is the one that began, the, the begin this metaverse trend, trend but there's other metaverses as well. Basically, a metaverse is going to be like the internet. Basically, the internet is a 3D form. Both of it's the fourth and fifth dimension of reality of the internet. Both of the reality we all going to live in. Like, in the metaverse, like, here in this physical world, we didn't choose to be in these bodies. We did, we did not choose to be in these bodies, let, let alone choose what countries we, we lived in. We were forced... Basically, we were forced to become any skin color we, we became in this physical world. And we was forced to become whatever we became. You know what I'm saying? Either male or female. You know, it doesn't, you know, the thing about it is that we don't have anything control in this world. Like, put it like that. Like, in the metaverse, we have full control. A full, amazing control within the metaverse to where we can become anything that we want to be. We can do whatever we want to do and desire whatever we want to desire. Like, within the metaverse, anything that's possible, anything you can create, you can create with your own image. Like, in the metaverse, you create yourself in your own image. You know what I'm saying? The way that you want to look and the way you want to present yourself. Like, in like meta, the graphic that's going to pop in the metaverse, even though Horizon got cartoon graphics, you know, that's, that's in the beginning stages, though. We still in the beginning stages of the metaverse, you feel what I'm saying? Even though they're trying a few things out and have people test it out for them and stuff. But when it really come down to it, though, you know what I'm saying, Horizon, even though they don't look like, even though they don't got legs or any of that, you gotta understand, it's gonna take time before they're really gonna add legs and they add the ultimate graphics within the metaverse. Like, the graphics they're trying to put into the metaverse is gonna be full flat. If you saw the movie Ready Player One, it's gonna look exactly like that. More, hella realistic. Very realistic. You feel what I'm saying? And that's what it really come down to is making it realistic. People are going to be hooked up into the matrix and the metaverse is the matrix. Like technology is already consuming our minds and consuming our eyes and everything else. But it's going to come to the point where we all going to have to end up, you know, living our lives in the metaverse. And I had no problem. I really don't have no problem with that because in this world, this world is so boring and so pathetic and there's nothing for me in this world. You know, I try to focus on the spirit round, but it's so hard to make it to the spirit round, knowing that I smoke cigarettes and stuff. Like, like I, I smoke cigarettes, so it's hard for me to do yoga or meditation if I can't get the full flesh prana inside of me. So I try my best to quit smoking cigarettes, and Lucifer knows I try my best. But every time, there's always something choking me or something attacking me if I really let go of cigarettes. So what's, what's really going on is, is that, you know, we don't really come down to it, though. You know, Lucifer decided to create a metaverse for me to experience the spiritual abilities that I can't experience in the spirit realm. I had my 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 first philosophy, which is called a sorcery, was supposed to focus on the physical world. But since now jobs are being taken away, and a lot of jobs is not you know it's not gonna work in this physical world if all the jobs are being taken away by robots or anything like in that in that matter. You feel what I'm saying? Because anything that you do for a living it can be a religious atmosphere. But, you know, knowing that this is Yahweh's universe, knowing that we're living inside Yahweh's universe is a real reason why we can't, you know, have certain things. So, 
that's why I'm moving my philosophy into the into the metaverse because within the metaverse, you see, you feel me? Anything can be possible. But let me just say this though. Let me just say this though, man. You know what I'm saying? In the year 2030, in the in the decade of 2030, in the in near the end of the of the decade of 2020, like it's gonna come to the point where we're not gonna own anything physically. Like we barely ain't gonna own the house we live in, own the car we have. We ain't gonna own anything, but we will be happy though. Like in the war economic forum, they even said it themselves. Like. You will own nothing, but you will be happy. And I and, and at first, I really I see. I heard that when I heard that quote, uh, like a couple of years back, like basically in 2020, when I heard that quote back in 2020, I'm like, I wasn't really tripping though, cause I was, you know, say I was still focused on the spirit realm. But when I when I heard that quote, like you won't own nothing and be happy, I was trying to think to myself, like, what the hell are they trying to say right here, like. I'm you know, say I will be happy though if I don't own nothing. At least I own stuff in the spiritual realm that's waiting for me in the spirit realm. But when the metaverse pop up, when the metaverse popped up in my face and saw all the benefits and atmosphere that the metaverse will bring to the table, I decided to focus on the metaverse. Like you see, the Xbox had like Xbox metaverse is gonna be off the hook. I'm gonna make sure the Xbox metaverse is gonna be off the hook or Microsoft metaverse. Whatever you want to call it. There's a reason why Xbox is going to keep buying game studios. Because they're going to add it to their Xbox Metaverse ecosystem. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm trying to say though is, is that when the Metaverse came into my face. I realized this is something I could really represent in a public view. And become a philosopher about this view. And about the Metaverse and how you want to live in the Metaverse. Because the Metaverse gives you opportunity to become anything that you want to become. And be what you ever want to be. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be a teddy bear or a lion a tiger with anything that you desire to be you can be in the metaverse and that's why i like about the metaverse and that's why i'm trying to push my philosophy straight into the metaverse you feel what i'm saying like i did post stuff on instagram about color sorcery but at the same time none of them paths not gonna come true know how to know how where this uh, physical world is going to but what i'm trying to say though is, is that even though yahweh is in control of this universe we live in it and he controls what what, what what race we gotta be and all and, and if we gonna have legs or not or we can't see or hear or talk or any of those things yahweh makes those decisions by living in this universe that we live we living in yahweh's universe but in the metaverse, that is Lucifer's universe, because Lucifer is in control of the metaverse, and he's a god of the metaverse. You feel what I'm saying? Not that you can say it, but anybody can. But there's really human beings that are slash avatars that are really the gods of the metaverse. Especially Mark Zuckerberg is the god of the metaverse, since he the one first one brought brought this into full play. But what I'm basically trying to say though is that when it really come down to it though, um, when it comes to um, when it comes to the metaverse, it, 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 you know, ah, shit it slipped out of my head, man. You know, I don't know why it slipped out of my head. Yeah, I forgot what I was about to say, man. But that, what I'm trying to say though is, is that I'm I'm okay not owning anything physically or have anything, or I'm okay for not owning nothing as long as I'm as long as I can own things in the metaverse. As long as I can own digital things, even though it's not physical in the atmosphere, but at the same time, if it's in my face, if it's in my point of view in my environment basically i don't have no problem with that i wouldn't mind living in the slums or maybe i don't know about living in the slums could be dangerous but let's see how the world plays out though man because we all gonna have chips in our bodies and we all gonna end up being having these chips in our body you know especially if you want to be part of the metaverse you're gonna have to need some chips in your body or some uh or Neuralink implanted in your brain, or anything in that matter. What I'm, what I'm basically trying to let y'all know is, is that it's going to come to the point where all of us is going to immerse ourselves into the metaverse, because the metaverse is going to be bigger than Earth itself, bigger than this Earth plane. But the metaverse is a virtual plane, one of many, many metaverses. You feel what I'm saying? This is my philosophy. And this is why I teach my now, now my philosophy, my new philosophy. Like I said, I am working on a book on Xbox, but at the same time, you got to give me time on that, because I still got to do some research. You know, so I'm already on the introduction side. Uh, of the book and I'm trying to explain Xbox history and how they came to be and stuff in the inter introduction side so I am working on a book uh, talking about Xbox and stuff and also the religion for Xbox as well and also their role in the metaverse and how they how they how they're gonna conquer the metaverse too so that's one thing I want to say but I want to let y'all know is is that you know what I'm saying? When a new world order come, when the age of Aquarius come, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be so happy and excited because of the metaverse. The metaverse is playing a big role 
once the age of Aquarius or a new world order comes into play. You feel what I'm saying? Like the metaverse do play a role. Like the like I said, the rich is gonna have everything in this world they want in this world and enjoy all the pleasures of this world. While the poor like us, the working class people, we're gonna enjoy, you know, living our fantasies and enjoyment in the metaverse and stuff. Like enjoy everything that we desire in the metaverse. Like to me, I wanna I wanna become an anti hero in the metaverse. You know, probably become a famous rapper in the metaverse. All that is going to be possible. They are, Japanese is already making anime movies talking about uh, becoming these things in the metaverse and really living your dreams in the metaverse. I mean, if you cannot live your dreams here in the physical world, then you can live it out in the metaverse. You feel what I'm saying? And that's one thing I like about the metaverse. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't mind being sucked in and being merged into the virtual reality. I never tried a headset yet, but at the same time, I don't know if it's going to give me motion sickness. But at the same time, I just hope it don't make my eyes itch or something like that. You feel what I'm saying? Because I, I do constantly touch my face while I play video games and stuff. It's definitely when I play Halo or Call of Duty multiplayer. You know what I'm saying? I gotta constantly scratch my face because the glitches. Glitches make me itch. Don't get me wrong. Glitches in video games or virtual world make me glitch. I mean, glitches in the game makes me itch. You know what I'm saying? It makes me itch real bad. So that's one thing I want to say. But... Let me just explain this, though, man. I know it sounds crazy. Like, bro, you better live in a virtual world in this world? Yes. Because ever since I was a kid, me and my friends, we used to play around together, you know, to, you know, to be like the characters we see on TV. But particularly, my me and my friends, we was obsessed with Sonic the Hedgehog and Mario. You know what I'm saying? We, we was, like, down there obsessed with Nintendo games or kid games that we had back in the days. And we was obsessed with that. And we, and we desired to be like those characters in the video game world. But the thing about it is, when we got older, you feel what I'm saying, they let go of that. But I still stuck to it. I still believe that I want to live in a video game world. And, you know, it was stuck with me all the way to 15, so I got into some street shit. And until you, you know it, I wasn't into video games no more. I was into street shit now. And that's, that's when I started doing drugs and, you know, having not having sex like that, but, you know, having sex basically, you know, all that stuff at 15. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, yo. So that's when I cut it loose. Then I started getting into the New Age movement later on in my life and discovered the astral planes. And I started to get deep into that and realized there's wealth for me in the spirit realm. But now, since this metaverse popped up and everything, it's just like now my dreams are starting to come true now. Like living in a virtual world or a video game world is my ultimate dream. Ever since I was a kid, when I used to play with my friends, we used to play as video game characters. Yeah, as we were as we were kids and stuff, especially when we play outside and stuff. But you know, seeing the metaverse being created, and knowing that the metaverse will play an important role in my life, especially with virtual spirituality and everything I got going on with the metaverse, it's gonna be a whole new reality, man. It's gonna be a whole new atmosphere. We basically gonna be stuck in our homes. It's gonna be it's gonna be you know pre, you know freedom for our minds and stuff. Like the metaverse is something that I, I hope for and dream for my whole life, man. And and when it really come down to it, though, I really pray and hope that the metaverse will keep me to the way to the point that I can be happy for not owning nothing physically or having anything physically. You know what I'm saying? As long as I own things digitally in the metaverse and own things digitally, you know, in the metaverse and live out my dreams in the metaverse and really make the metaverse my second life and not only that, my, my permanent life, my, my permanent home. You know, so I wish I, you know, so I would dream to be uh, have my soul sucked into the metaverse. I mean, I always dream of living in the video game world. I don't know why I just dream of living in the video game world, and knowing that the metaverse is gonna be its own economy and everything. That's one thing I like about the metaverse. I, mean, I wasn't writing books about the metaverse, but like I said, I'm still learning. Like the metaverse is still a new word. It's a new concept, even though DC uh, universe and Marvel universe already use that term. With they with they comments and stuff, but when it comes down to it, the metaverse is a 3D virtual reality internet, a virtual environment internet. But really, it's the fourth and fifth dimension consciousness that we're gonna be uh, embracing it and sucked into in a matter of, in a matter of years, you from a matter of decades, yeah, a matter of decades, something like that. So you know, when it really come down to it, though. What I'm basically trying to let y'all know is that, yes, I am focused on the metaverse, and yes, I am focused on embracing the metaverse and living now my dreams in the metaverse. 
and becoming what I want to become in the metaverse. You feel what I'm saying? So that's one thing I like about the metaverse. I want to become something I desire to become. You feel what I'm saying? That's one thing I love about the metaverse. You feel what I'm saying? Like I want, I want to, I want to be a part of the metaverse. I want, I want to live out my dreams in the metaverse. I want to have my soul transfer, transfer into the metaverse, man, to escape this reality. Like I said, I don't want to become of this world, but I either become of the metaverse or the virtual world, and then I will become of the virtual world. At least I will live out my dreams and fantasies in the virtual world. You feel me? I'm already on Roblox already. I don't play it that much, but you know my money, money's still going to that account though. But I don't play it that much. You know what I'm saying? Whole nine yards. You know what I'm saying? It's like playing Fortnite almost. You know when you play Roblox, you know it's for kids, I guess. But, you know, this is your boy, Tab Money. I'm finna sign off. That's all I want to say. So, when it really come down to it, y'all, what I'm really trying to let y'all know is, is that I'm chosen to represent the metaverse now. I want to be the Lord Maitreya of the metaverse. But at the same time, I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's true or not. That's something I just made up. But, you know, I just want to be part of that metaverse now, man. I see, I see a lot of different metaverses that's being created and being put out there. You know, people, please invest into the metaverse. Free, invest into that cryptocurrency. Invest into the NFTs. Invest into that metaverse so that metaverse can come true. There's metaverses where you can go to different planets, different worlds and stuff. Like, man, this metaverse, this, this play to earn metaverse NFTs, all these things that's popping up right now, it's going to change my life forever, man. It's going to change my life forever. And this is the real reason why I want to live out my dreams and fantasies in the metaverse. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather not own nothing physically than to own things digitally in the metaverse. You feel what I'm saying? Like, as long as I got my stuff in the digital world where nothing, that nobody can't touch it, nobody can't take it from me, no no earthquake, no nat natural natural disasters can't take that away from me. Like, what I'm basically trying to let y'all know is, is that I'm all about the metaverse. I'm all about living in the metaverse. I'm all about becoming a metaverse and, and having a life and having a, a a career and everything in the metaverse. And that's one thing that I'm basically trying to say. So I am going to work on the metaverse. I am going to be a philosopher of the metaverse and everything else. You're trying to say and make the metaverse is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And that's one thing I'm trying to say. I'm trying to let y'all know. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, the metaverse is going to be my home, man. It's going to be my permanent home. And I can't wait for you to make that to happen. Like I said, I'm not part of the rich class. I'm part of the working class or basically the poor class. And basically, I'm not going to own things physically. I'm not going to be the wealthiest man here in this physical world. But I might be the wealthiest man in the metaverse. I might have everything I want in the metaverse and really just live out my dreams in the metaverse. You know, be in a polygamous relationship with a multitude of video game characters and anime characters within the metaverse that are artificial intelligence bound, which means they're not human beings. They're being, they're being operated by AI, AI technology and stuff like that. So... No, that's all I want to say about out there. So, you know, the thing is, I, I don't care if I don't own things physically. I don't care what the war and climate form got planned for this world. All I care about is living in the metaverse and really living out my dreams in the metaverse and really becoming the person that I dream of becoming in the metaverse. And I, that's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to let y'all know is that I want to become someone that I dream of come, becoming in the metaverse and that's one thing I want, I want to push out there is becoming something that I dream of becoming in the metaverse. You feel what I'm saying? That's one thing I want to say. So it's your time, money.